I don't think we thought that it was going to be such revolutionary technology. If someone told me when I started, 15 years from now, the word CRISPR will be an entry on the New York Times crossword, that is completely bizarre. I grew up in the 80s in Argentina. We we're super crazy about soccer. It was a very important part of my life growing up. I always liked science fiction movies. It made me think it would be really cool to somehow contribute to the future that I saw on screen. I immigrated to the US in 2003 with my wife and my son. In my PhD, I learned how to work with bacteria. At the time, CRISPR was known to defend bacterium from viral attack, but it was not clear how CRISPR worked. So I went to my mentor's office and I said, would you be interested in studying this in your lab? And he said, yes. It's not trivial to say yes to something very new. They could have been complete flop, but we demonstrated genetically that CRISPR attacked the DNA of the virus. That was a breakthrough moment. And so it became an amazing tool for genetic engineering. Now I have my own lab and was able to make many discoveries that contributed significantly to understand how CRISPR works in bacteria. I remember my own story, and I think it's very important to give a trainees the freedom to pursue what they think is the most important question in their science. Because besides the discoveries that you make, what's left behind you is the people that you train. I really hope that the promise of CRISPR becomes a reality. Mm -hmm.